Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. But today I have an exciting video. I'm actually gonna be doing a, a drugstore haul. I have not done these. Actually, I've never done one of these. It's been a hot minute since I have purchased makeup from the drugstore. Once I discovered like Sephora and MAC, I just, I stayed away from the drugstore. So watching so many other videos on like drugstore hauls and drugstore makeup and how everyone's obsessed with it. So I decided to just give it a try. All right, so I went to Walmart um, just because it's the cheapest there. Target's way too expensive. Walgreens, CVS, forget it. So I went to Walmart. Um, just it's, it's a lot of makeup here, so let's just go ahead and get started. It's a lot of makeup, like, like a lot. Like if my husband were to see this, he'd be like, are you crazy buying all that makeup? Like... <laughs> All right, let's just get started. First thing I picked up was the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. I've heard a lot about this. Um, it's supposedly, it's comparable to the Better Than Sex um, Mascara from Too Faced, I think. I have that. I own it. I like it. It does a pretty good job, but it's kind of expensive, so I've never purchased it again. So we'll see how this goes next thing i picked up from l'oreal was the new infallible pro glow concealer and i got it in the shade 02 creamy natural the only thing that i did notice about this concealer was that there wasn't a lot well in at least in my walmart there wasn't a lot of shades um zero one was way too light but then zero two looks a little bit too dark I think it looks a little bit too close to my skin color um, but we'll test it out all right so the next thing I picked up was the Maybelline fit me foundation the matte and poreless one I actually already own this um, I went to pick up a new one just because the one that I have is way too light for me I got the color 230 natural buff next thing for Maybelline was the curvitude liner um, I don't know if you guys can see it. It has like a curve, so I don't know. I've never tried an eyeliner like this. I always use just the one that comes in the tube and you just brush it on. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Um, I'll let you guys know how I feel about that. This thing from Maybelline I have seen all over YouTube is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. It's a new powder they came out with. Um, everyone loves it. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I got the color 20 light medium. It looks kind of, I don't know. It looks like it's going to be a little bit too tan for me. I usually like my powders to be um, a little bit lighter than my foundation. Um, I mean, we'll see. I'm going to do a um, first impressions on all of these items in the next video so keep your eyes out for that and next thing from Maybelline is okay so this is the thing I don't own any eyeshadow palettes from the drugstore everything I have is like higher end I just I don't know I've never the eyeshadow palettes at the drugstore don't catch my attention so but I've been hearing a lot of things about the Maybelline um their new like city mini palettes I saw, I can't remember who did a review on this. I want to say it was Juicy Jazz. I can't remember, but it actually came out like really nice and the shadows look like really pigmented. So I picked up the um, Chill Bunch, Chill Brunch Neutrals palette. And these are the colors. I really like like these sparkly colors right here. These three and then these matte shades are, I mean, they look beautiful. Hopefully, they're pigmented. So, the next thing is from Wet n Wild. I actually picked up the um, Mega Cushion Highlight in the color Who's That Pearl. You want to try this? I know I was going to do like a first impression video, but I really want to try this. I want to see. Oh, it's actually like a cushion. Oh, I didn't know that. Hmm. Hmm. That's. I mean, I don't know. I don't want to swatch it because I want to save it for like my first impressions. But 
I don't know how I'm going to do that. I don't think I would use... I don't know. I'll let you guys know how all of these products turn out. Don't know how I feel about this. We'll have to try that out. Kind of interesting. So the next thing I picked up was the Wet n Wild. It is um, their... It's called our first gel lip liner. And I actually wanted like a brownish um, lip liner to pair with like uh, a myth laps, uh, <laughs> to pair with a myth lipstick from MAC. Like, you know, the very bright nude color. We'll see how it looks. Actually, it looked more brown in the store. This is a color Bear to Comments. Oh, it's just open it up see now it looks actually kind of pink now that I'm at home it looks more pink than it does brown like I don't know if you can see it doesn't really match let me swatch it. I'm just gonna swatch it oh no that's not brown at all it's actually kind of it's really smooth though, really creamy. That's what it is. I know it's a very tiny swatch, but that's what it looks like. Right there. It's actually like a like a really like pinky. I don't know. I wanted a brown lip liner. Mm. <sighs> but it's really creamy, it's really smooth, so. We'll see how that turns out. All right, so the next thing I picked up was the Milani Prime Light Face Primer. It's strobing, strobing plus pore minimizing. Um, it says it primes skin to create a smooth canvas before applying any foundation, hydrates and instantly brightens, can be applied post foundation for additional radiance. Lightweight with a natural luminous finish Universal, oh, I cannot speak today. Universal, universally flattering glow and does not clog pores. Um, I don't know. We're going to have to give that a try. Now, drugstore primers, I do not mind. I own a lot of drugstore primers and a lot of them are even better than like higher end um, primers that I own. So, I don't know. I've heard a lot of good things about this. So, I think I'm going to like it also picked up for primer is the elf hydrating face primer i've heard a lot of good things about these primers there was different colors i was undecided between this one and the pink one i believe the pink one was like um i think it was like pore minimizing i've actually seen this one a lot more than the pink one so um i decided to give this one a try i believe this was like six bucks yeah i think it was like six bucks really inexpensive um it's a multi it's this is what it says it's a hydrating face primer multi-purpose preps your skin so makeup goes on evenly for a long lasting matte finish so that's kind of funny i noticed i just noticed this it's a hydrating face primer but it gives you a matte finish i don't know how, the, how that's gonna work i'm kind of eager to try this so we'll see We'll see. All right, so the next thing I picked up from e.l.f. was the brow pencil in neutral brown. I don't own any other um, brow products besides the Anastasia and like a little, um, little palm brow powder that I got from like CVS years ago. Um, but other than that, I don't own anything else for brows. So I decided to pick this up. Don't know how pigmented it's going to be. Um, or how smooth it like blends out um, we'll have to see so the last thing that I picked up was the physician's formula um, butter blush I own the butter bronzer which is my favorite I love it I use it every single day um, so I decided to give the blushes a try they're actually these are actually pretty damn expensive like I don't remember how much it was I don't have my receipt but I know it was like ten dollars I mean for a drugstore blush i think that's kind of pricey but i got the color natural glow it's like um i don't know it's really it's like what it says it's a natural the color of your skin but like a little pink 
and a little brown and shimmer into it. I don't know. I'm excited. This looked, it looks beautiful. So I really can't wait to try it. All right, guys, that is all for my drugstore haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be doing a like first impressions, a drugstore first impressions on all of these products um, coming up real soon. Probably within the next week, it should be up. Um, just so you guys can see all these products. I will be using all of these in my video. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.